shut up long enough for me to finish talking? That's not very nice. I don't give a damn. Tiffany Parsons. What's your badge number? 37, Gadsden County Sheriff's Office. Phone number 627 And if you need anything Relax. further, I can give okay. it to you. If I'm free to go, have a nice day. You're not free to go. So I'm being detained? Temporarily. For what I'm reason? I'm conducting an investigation. What's your and reasonable? My badge says that I can. What's your reasonable and you articulable will suspicion? Be quiet. Can you shut up long enough for me to finish talking? That's not very nice. I don't give a damn. What's your reasonable articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime? Did you take an oath upholding defend the Constitution of the United States, ma'am? Are you aware that this is a First Amendment right? Are you remaining silent? I am pleading the fifth. How about that? <laughs> okay, guys. Check out On Your Oath. I'll put the link to his channel in the description. He does very good work on dealing with law enforcement. Here's the thing. You cannot... Tr trust the police. I always tell people when you're dealing with law enforcement, just know they have the right to lie. I'll be adding additional commentary and narration under fair use, given adding my commentary, criticism, and new information to the video. And also, I put the original link in the description, so go over there and watch some more of his content if you want to. So here's the thing, the police can't be trusted, that's just the way it is. People think that when police come up and talk to you, you must comply with all their orders. Law enforcement have broadened powers, which includes the right to lie. And that means they can say anything they want to get you to confess to, anything, to, confess to some sort of deed, right? So be careful. Always ask for a lawyer. I'm out, guys. Peace. I'm not coming on the property. I'm going to stay on the sidewalk. What's up? I'll come out here and talk to you. Okay. I'm just I'm just out in public taking pictures, sir. Is it not allowed to uh, photograph prison at all? Uh, if it's out in public, That's I... That's why I asked you what I'm uh, What agency do you work for? Nah, I'm, I'm just out in public taking pictures. And you don't work for no agency at all? Agency? What do you mean by agency? Uh, any kind of departments, anything like that? No. State agency, kind of agency? No, sir. I'm just out in public taking pictures, just on the public side. Uh, just the prison? Yeah, just the prison and the stuff going on. Prisoners right there. I'm getting some good shots of the prisoners and all that. Are you not allowed to take pictures like that? Uh, I disagree with you. I disagree. Let me let you talk to my lieutenant. Uh, lieutenant okay. Bob. All right. Lieutenant Bob. He got more knowledge. Okay. How you doing, Lieutenant? Great. How are you? I'm good. I'm just I'm just out in public taking pictures. That's all. Any particular reason why why Red is running the institution? I love the institution. Because I'm taking pictures of the institution. I'm getting photos of the uh, oh the inmates as well. Who do you work with? Uh, I'm just. I'm just an investigative journalist got a controversy for it. Other than that, I'm not really going to answer any questions. It's honestly sad that po most police officers in the United States don't respect the Constitution. It's, it's, it's really sad. And you would think with more videos coming out that they would at least fake it to make it. But guess what? They really do not respect the Constitution. Get back to the video and enjoy. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna answer any further questions. I've, I've told you I'm just out in public on the sidewalk taking pictures. If it's something beyond that, I'm not gonna answer any further questions. You're gonna have to ask the VP there. Ah, well, I respectfully decline your request. I'm out here. I'm out here for gathering content about this institution and that institution. I'm an investigative journalist, and that's the reason why I'm here. So I'm not going. I'm gonna stay right on the sidewalk and take pictures. You have any credentials saying you're an investigative journalist? Uh, Mr. Barr, your name is Barr, what did you? Yeah. Okay, what is your title? Administrative Correct. Lieutenant. Administrative Lieutenant. Okay, you're Lieutenant also. What's your name? Hunter. Hunter. What's your name, sir? Officer Allison. Okay, thank you. I mean, as long as it's not illegal, I'm going to keep on taking pictures. I mean, I, I have no... You're taking pictures of the institution? Yeah, of the institution and these inmates right here in Washington, the Oh, you can't be taking pictures of anyone. You violate the Florida statute. Okay, well, I disagree. All right, guys, have a good one. The sheriff lady that comes out is very disrespectful, very rude, very mean for no reason. Just just because she feels like it. Maybe she's having a bad day. I don't know, but guess what? She takes it out on him. Get back to the video, yeah. Lee. So they didn't tell me photographing the state institution ground. It's against the Florida statute. The photographing in the institution. Oh, okay. Well, I guess when the sheriff's get here, we'll, we'll, we'll straighten it out. Yeah. 
Sheriff's out. Sheriff's officer's in that. You're right. In journalism, you got a ID on you? Uh, what type of ID? What do you mean? Driver's license, any type of ID. Uh, What's your name and date of birth? Well, let me, let me explain to you. I'm standing on a public sidewalk, taking photos out in public. And that's fine. I asked you for your ID. I understand, but if I'm not being detained, I'm not going to produce any identification. Well, sir, you need to move along there. Like you said, this is the property, so... Uh, Sit it right away. What would happen if I don't move on? You go to jail. For what? Why are you doing that, sir? Uh, I've explained to the officers. No, explain it to me. And I'm explaining to you what I'm doing is I'm a journalist gathering content for story. Uh, investigative journalist gathering content for story. And beyond that, right investigative journalists gathering con content for a story. And if I'm not being detained, I'm not going to produce any ID. It's none of y'all's business who I am. It's none of y'all's business why, what I'm doing. It's an investigative story. You need to produce something. Don't tell me it's none of my business. You had them taking pictures of a correctional facility. This is That's not right. a public building. That's not a public building. It's, it's, not it's a, a state correctional institution, man. Okay, You're Tiffany and for Parsons. Secure, yes, Tiffany Parsons. What's your badge number? 37, Gadsden County Sheriff's Office. Thank you. Phone number 627 okay, And if you need anything relax. further, I can give okay. it to you. Relax. This is a security issue because... This is a First Amendment issue. Here. This is a constitutionally protected right... Let's just be honest about it. Ain't nobody about to sit outside for an hour or two filming a prison just to get caught. If someone is going to do something that involves something that's not right, they're going to be way more sneaky about it. They're not going to do it out in the open. So, I mean, like, these guys are claiming a security issue. I'm going to be honest with you, man. They just wanted to, they just wanted to talk to this man. They had nothing else better to do. They want to order them around. They want to feel superior. That's all it is. These cops want to feel superior. But this first amendment order on your oath knows his rights and they can't stand that. Get back to the video, guys. Officer, what's your name? Barber. Officer Barber, you're yes, Quincy. Uh, I yes, thought they called county. They uh, called both of us. I'm just out here taking photos out in public, that's all. Uh, the prison? Yes, sir. Are you taking in? Yeah, there's inmates right there. I saw them watching this vehicle. Are you taking pictures of? I'm a journalist yeah. gathering content for stories. It's investigative journalism. You got a ID on you? Uh, what type of ID do you mean? Driver's license, any type of ID. Uh, What's your name and date of birth? Well, let me let me explain to you. I'm standing on a public sidewalk, taking photos out in public. And that's fine. I asked you for your ID. I understand, but if I'm not being detained, I'm not going to produce any identification. Well, sir, you need to move along there. Like you said, this is the property, so uh, sit it right away. What would happen if I don't move along? You go to jail. For what? For what? Yes. Because I've asked you to move along. You taking pictures of a facility that is that illegal? We don't they, know if you're staging a breakout. I'm not staging a breakout. I told you I'm a journalist guy. And then at this point, it, it's loitering because I asked you for ID and you can't produce it. You had to produce it. I'm not really. taking pictures of, of a facility that, that house in there. Right. I've, I've explained to you I'm an investigative journalist guy. And, and I need your ID sure. And I'm a, I'm, I have no, I'm no obligation to prove to you who I am. I'm, I'm, yes, you do. Am I, look, you, if I'm you. not being detained, well, I'm, I'm going to say. Have a nice day. You have a nice day too. You're free to go. 13 to 109, if you could, be in right, please. Do you, are you what actually are you, over there? are you trying to trespass me from the public sidewalk? No, I'm asking you to walk along. Keep moving. Uh, I, I'm not gonna keep moving. So here's so here's the thing. You can't trust police. I tell you this all the time. These officers they use certain phrases to lock you up to get you to confess or consent. For example, you don't mind. You don't think. I got a job to do, so that's I'm out here to do my job. I appreciate if you didn't I appreciate if you didn't interfere and obstruct my with my rights. Oh, he got a scanner. That's why he made it coming. <laughs> I'm a journalist. Journalists have, have scanners. <laughs> right? I mean, that's what journalists do. We have scanners. We know what's going on. I'm, 
this this is constitutionally protected activity, safeguarded by the First Amendment. I have every right to do this. You from Florida? I'm not answering any questions. Because if you're from Florida, you should know that Florida also requires everybody to have identification, which is state law. So you have to have identification on you mm -hmm. at all times. Mm -hmm. It's state law. Look it up. So here's the thing. You can't trust these cops. These cops will ask you questions. They'll ask for consent to search you, get your ID, stuff like that. It's up to you to discern what they're saying. Law enforcement, they have the right to do almost anything they want when it comes to the investigation. They can lie. They can make up false claims. And that's just the, that's the power they have, right? It, it, let's say they do grab your ID out of your pocket without your consent. That violates your rights, but guess what? They'll claim qualified immunity. They didn't know what they did was wrong at the time, so therefore, they get away with it. Unfortunately, the police have more power than the average American citizen. Get back to the video, guys. Sir, you got to take a picture of the prison and inmates don't want to produce ID. Why are you doing that, so sir? Who uh, I've explained to the officers. No, explain it to me. And I'm explaining to you what I'm doing is I'm a journalist gathering content for story. Uh, yeah. Investigative journalists gathering content for story. And beyond that, right investigative journalists gathering con content for story. And if I'm not being detained, I'm not going to produce any ID. It's none of y'all's business who I am. It's none of y'all's business why, what I'm doing. It's an investigative story. You need to produce something. Don't tell me it's none of my business. You had to take pictures of a correctional facility. That's right. And we want to know why. And I was taking pictures of the inmates, right? I've just explained why? to you why. I'm an investigative journalist gathering content but for the story. You produce the investigative journalist idea as well. This is my identification. A number I can call, a number I can call, or uh, something. Like I said, it's, it's none of your business. Unless I'm being detained, I'm not producing the ID. And if, as a matter of fact, if I'm free to go, have a nice day. Am I free to go? No, 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 no. No, you're not free to go. I'm not free to go. No, so sir. I'm being detained. No, sir, I need to see some ID. Okay, well, if I'm not being detained, have a nice day. I need to see some ID. Sir. I'm either being detained or I'm free to go. You're, you're actually um, committing obstruction right now by not giving us an ID. Okay, what's going to happen if I don't produce ID at this point? What will happen? I'm, on I'm not. I'm not refusing. Or standing on the sidewalk. He, he, was, he, was, he was alleged to have been in the parking lot. Now, I, right. I personally didn't, didn't see it. I don't. I mean, I, I didn't see it, so I don't know. When I came out and, and encountered him, he was on the sidewalk. Am I being detained or am I free to go? It's one or the other. No, I need to see my ID. Officer. Right. I'm sorry, officer. Lieutenant. Always film the police. Get back to the video and enjoy. He got this off YouTube. Exact same subject, did this exact same thing on YouTube. Right, this it's is comical. And then this he wants is, to write about it. And this is at It's because you guys are, are infringing on my First Amendment rights. This is a public sidewalk. This is constitutionally protected activity. I've explained to you that I'm a journalist. And you never, you and never you were set not, foot off the sidewalk? I have never set foot off the sidewalk. You would have an ID tag. You would have something. I do have tape. an ID tag, but what I'm telling you is it's none of your business. I'm not producing ID unless I'm being detained. For this security is an purposes, yes. So there's also a gentleman he recorded down there. Yeah, he's, he's recording right down the road. He has a Am I free to go? No, you're not free to go. So I'm being detained? You, you're not free to go? go down and talk I'm not free to go. Okay, this is not a public building. That's not a public building. It's, it's not it's a, a state correctional institution, man. Okay, You're Tiffany and for Parsons. Secure, yes, Tiffany Parsons. What's your badge number? 37, Gadsden County Sheriff's Office. Thank you. Phone number 627 okay, And if you need anything relax. further, I can okay. give it to you. Relax. This is a security issue because... This is a First Amendment issue. Here. This is a constitutionally protected right safeguarded by the First Once Amendment. Once you come off the sidewalk, it's a security I've never been issue. off the sidewalk. Have you seen me off the sidewalk? Have you I, witnessed I me on their property? I can videotapes. Can Go you request it. sergeant or lieutenant and let's just view the videotapes? I, I have my chief of security in right. Okay, because if you step I foot never off stepped the off the sidewalk, sidewalk, we have a big issue. I never, foot, never stepped foot off the sidewalk. I've been on the sidewalk the whole time. Here's why I think she's so rude and have an attitude. I think she's having a bad day, but I also think it's intimidation. She wants to intimidate the cameraman because she feels she needs to prove something. So she's going, she's trying her best to get this man to comply with her unlawful orders. Or maybe she's just tired of working there, but she has no other options. Get back to the video. I'm free to go. Have a nice day. You're not free to go. So I'm being detained. 
temporarily. For what reason? What's what's your reasonable articulable because suspicion? Because I'm conducting an investigation. Based on what? What am I doing? That's I'm illegal. I'm conducting an investigation. What's your and reasonable? My badge says that I can. What's your reasonable and articulable you will suspicion? Be quiet. What is your reasonable I'm articulable suspicion? I'm conducting an investigation. Based on I'm what? I'm conducting an investigation based on what a, a potential security issue. Potential security potential, issue. Potential security issue. That's I've, right. I've explained until to you. Until I see the tapes. I have right to see the tapes, and after I see the tapes... So you're going to detain me until you see the tapes? Can you shut up long enough for me to finish talking? Well, that's not very nice. I don't give a damn. Okay. Until I see the videotapes, I am officially conducting an investigation. Once I view them, mm -hmm. and I see that you never stepped foot on this property, you are free to go. What's your reasonable articulable suspicion that I stepped foot on that property? What's your reasonable articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime? If it wasn't filmed, nobody would believe him, but luckily it was videotaped. Did you take an oath upholding defend the Constitution of the United States, ma'am? Are you aware that this is a First Amendment right? Are you remaining silent? I am pleading my fifth. How about that? <laughs> Isn't that great? That's great. Well, I can't drive because I have nerve damage. Um, we've got your white vehicle from St. John's County, and I have all of your driver's license information. Your license is, in fact, disqualified. Mm -hmm. um, now that I have both of your information, the warden of this property wants you officially trespassed. Do both parties understand and acknowledge that you are trespassed from this property sure. from this point forward? I have a property receipt for you, sir, because your phone was found and I'm turning it over to you. Okay. Here is your property receipt. Glad to get that back to you. Glad we could identify both of you. You have officially been trespassed from the property again. I'm iterating that for yes, the second, as well. third, and fourth Me? time. I'm you are trespassed, Mr. Thomas James Covenant and Mr. Jeffrey Gray from St. John's County, St. Augustine. You're trespassed as well. Okay. okay? I understand. Okay. Thank you, work. So go ahead and go back to your car and put the keys in there. I'm going to stand right here on the sidewalk and take pictures until I'm done. Check out Honor Your Oath. I'll put the link to his channel in the description. He does very good work on dealing with law enforcement. Remember, guys, when the police is your right, it's recommended that you film the police. Check out the community tab at 3 p.m. such a time as I do my best to share videos to there. Again, check out the community tab at 3 p.m. such a time as I do my best to share videos to there. This is the end of the video, so if you do not want to hear any more commentary, leave now, because there's no more happening. It's just commentary, guys, okay? So, I added additional commentary and narration under fair use, adding my commentary, criticism, and new information to this video. Understand this. You have a right to film in public. You can't trust law enforcement. I'm sorry to say it, but nowadays, all they do is lie. There's enough, every time they talk, if they're investigating you, they're lying. Just assume it because they want to arrest you. Their goal is to arrest you. They want to place you in the custody. They want to ruin your life. One to two days in jail can ruin your life. Understand that. You don't know what can happen to you if you're incarcerated. It's a scary thought. But hey, they don't care. They don't care at all. All they care about is their bottom line. All original links in the description. I'm out, guys. Peace. Bye-bye now. Have a wonderful day.